Hey guys, and today I'm going to be explaining what's been going on between Fortnite and Apple. And Google Play has joined into it too. So basically how this all started is the fact that Apple takes 30% of all in-app purchase money from the game developers, leaving them with only 70% of the money. Fortnite didn't like this. So they introduced a feature that basically allowed you to choose whether you wanted to make a payment through Apple's App Store, which would cost $10 to respond with their 30% cut, or you could make a direct payment to Epic Games, skipping Apple, which means that you wouldn't have to be involved in the 30% cut, and it would only cost $8 from the normal 10 Obviously, Apple didn't like this because they were offering a way to get around their cut. So, in response, they removed the app from their app store. Fortnite responded to this by starting a hashtag, hashtag free Fortnite, which has gone trending all over Twitter and other places. And they also made a little video kind of poking fun at Apple. So I'll play that now. Today, we celebrate the anniversary of the platform unification directives. For years, they have given us their songs, their labor, and their dreams. In exchange, we have taken our tribute, our profits, our control. This power is ours and ours alone. We shall prevail. Apple doing this has stopped all Apple players from getting Fortnite updates, meaning that they are stuck on the current version. Epic has stated that if you have already downloaded the latest version of Fortnite, you will be able to continue playing this version. However, once Season 4 begins, you will still be able to play, but you will be stuck in the current 13.40 version, and you will not be able to access any of the new season's content. But you will still be able to play with other mobile users in this current update. They've also mentioned that if you play on one device with the 13.40 version and another on a different version, everything will still be fine. People have even asked Epic why they don't just agree with Apple and go back to the old prices. And their statement is, Epic believes that you should have a right to save money thanks to using more efficient new purchase options. Apple's rules add a 30% tax on all of your purchases, and they punish game developers like us who offer direct payment options. Hashtag free Fortnite. Epic Games have even gone as far as taking legal action against Apple to try and end their 30% cut. They provided the papers to the public, but we're not going to be going through those because it's just 65 pages of legal talk about... You know, them saying that the ways are wrong, so we're not gonna look through that. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's about the whole story. I think the most important thing here, though, is that people who have already downloaded Fortnite can continue playing on that version. They just won't be able to get any new updates. But they will still be able to play on that version, and Epic will keep servers up for that version. Hopefully this all gets fixed soon, but there's really no telling when it will, or if it will. But yeah, I encourage you to have discussions about whose side you're on and all this stuff with other people in the comments section too, so. But yeah, hopefully this all gets fixed soon, and bye!